Hey gang, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Kay Reeds. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys for commenting, subscribing, all that good stuff, all that energy that you give to me to let me know that you are part of my collective. I am very grateful. If you would like a personal read about me, please be sure to check out the description box right below this video. Or you can also check out my community tab where I do have my set prices because I do have a main sale going on. Now, I know y'all looking like, what the hell? Why do you have these cards out? I thought I was recording. And she wasn't recording okay <laughs> so my beautiful pile number ones if you picked um this is going to be a reading on what makes you intimidating if you pick the fendi bag then this is going to be your reading so we have the horror font being the first card that came out for you guys we also have here at number 10 the will of fortune okay we have the four of swords and we also have here the nine of cups okay so we have taurus energy we have libra energy and scorpio energy all right, beautifuls. So let's get right in tune. But what makes you so into what makes you so intimidating is the fact that you are a teacher. Okay, you're someone that is like I feel like people describe you as someone that has a very good head on their shoulders. That you are you. Some people even may call you a know it all. But um, that's something that's very intimidating. Someone that is very smart. Someone that actually has like experience. You know what I'm saying? Or you're someone that experienced has experienced certain things in your life and other people haven't um that means that you are i feel like you're someone that's very very relatable a lot of people relate to you uh, what makes you intimidating is the, is the fact like like i said you have so much to teach people you have so much stuff that you have in your head you have um a lot of knowledge that's the word i was trying to get out you have a lot a lot of knowledge i feel like a lot of people may even describe you as someone that is like a preacher or a teacher like if you are someone that is religious if you are someone um if you are religious you're teaching people about your religion if you are someone that's spiritual you te you're teaching people about spirituality i feel like you're someone that's always trying to um help people get ahead of the game you know i feel like you are an individual but, th but that's the thing that makes you intimidating. Like, you don't care if someone is on the same type of level as you. You don't care if someone's, like, even better than you. You understand what I'm saying? That's something that makes you very intimidating, that you're not afraid to be behind. Because with you being behind, that gives you, like, leverage to learn and be better. Be more, Like, if he was not paying attention to you, and the next thing you know, you're back at the, at the top again. All right? With number 10, the will of fortune, you're someone that is very um abundant. I feel like you're someone that... It's like good things happen to you on the women. I, people find that to be very um, intimidating. Intimidating. Another thing that I'm noticing here, and I feel like you guys have broken generational curses. Like you're the first one to graduate high school, college. You're the first one to have an apartment, a car. Like I don't know. You're the first for a lot of different things in your um in your family. I feel like you're someone that has either yeah like your, your ancestors, your spirit got like you are very much divinely protected. I feel like you're very blessed. Very blessed um but a lot of good things i don't know if your your mom prays over you all the time or you're someone that manifests things that come comes into fruition you script or something like that you ask god and you know it just so happens that it happens <laughs> but i feel like you're someone that's very abundant and people find that very intimidating that you're i feel like you're spoiled but you spoiled yourself you know what i mean i feel like you're not someone that sits there and wait for anybody to give you anything like if you want it you get it simple as that but the four of swords being here I feel like what makes you intimidating is that you're someone that you stay to yourself. You know, I feel like you're someone that even talks to yourself, not in a crazy way, anything like that, but you talk to yourself. Like if you want to make a certain decision, if you feel like um, you don't have anybody else that's going to give you the right answer that you like you really need or hear the hear the honest to God truth, you, you talk to yourself. OK, I feel like a lot of you guys are part. Um, but another thing that makes you very intimidating is the fact that I think a lot of you may pray. You know, like I said, major manifestors. Um, I feel like anything that you ask, whoever you believe in, to give you, they give it to you. You ask for protection, you are protected. If you ask for um, a certain answer, you get those certain answers, okay? That's something that makes you very intimidating. Like I said, anything that you want, you get. And, and it's crazy. And then we end in the reading with the, um, well, we end in the tarot cards with the nine of cups. You know, get someone that's very fulfilled. Like I, anything that you want, anything that you ask for, you get it okay i feel like like i said you're very abundant you're very um it's like whoever picked this power you guys are really like extremely religious or you're someone that's very spiritual okay 
that's something that's very intimidating. Like you are like the top manifester. You are the top scripter. Like if you're a witch, you like the best witch out for some of you. Okay. Um, with the bottom of the deck being the seven of the of seven of the cups, seven of cups. I feel like you're an individual that has so many different ideas, different stream, stream, streams of income. That's another thing that makes you intimidating is the fact that you are so um, talented. You're so creative. You have such a, a open mind. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, let's see what else we have. Let's see what else we have because this one is a quick one. It's like another thing that makes you intimidating is the fact that you're someone that is you feel like there's always there's always time you understand you know you're very patient you're not someone that rushes anything because you know everything comes in divine order i feel like you're someone that also believes that um it's like what's the point of rushing it like when it's supposed to happen it will happen let's see what we have what makes pound number one so intimidating what makes pound number one so intimidating? Make these messages as clear as possible. What makes pound number three so intimidating, universe? What makes pound number three so intimidating? Make these messages as clear as possible. Give me two more cards, please. What makes pound number one? I said pound number two, I think. What makes pound number one so intimidating? Make these messages as clear as possible. Thank you. A lot of you have matured. I feel like I feel like some of you was immature as a child. Or when you were younger that's not for everybody that's for some people and it's another thing that when it comes to time i feel like you guys have a lot of patience either you guys have a lot of patience or you're someone that um yeah i'm just seeing divine time and i keep hearing divine time and so it's like you're very patient you know that things are supposed to come when it's supposed to come okay we have number 43 the unexpected what makes you very intimidating is the fact that a lot of people don't know what it's what to expect out of you that's the same thing with this um seven of cups like people don't know what you're thinking about people don't know what's your next big idea people don't know um when you plan it how you plan it um people didn't know that like like if you let's say you are pregnant people wouldn't know that you're pregnant until you you know pop out with a picture and like oh you know damn that was unexpected and i feel like that's a line that people use with you a lot well like wow that was unexpected i didn't expect that i didn't expect this you know with number 35 change i feel like and the same thing with um number number five growth i feel like you're someone that changed the whole lot very drastically and i feel like with um what in, in the way makes you so intimidating is the fact that you change so much and that you have so much growth and like i said this there's so much room for you to change as an individual and to grow i hope that makes sense i don't sound too crazy I feel like it makes it what makes you very intimidating is the fact that you are willing to wait to grow and um experience life in a different type of way. I feel like it makes it's like your change, the way you, you react to things, it's like I don't know. If you was to be if you are like let's say that you're you're poor today but you become rich tomorrow, I feel like um people will find that very intimidating because you'll be able to fit in. It's like you know how to fit in with people that's like, you know, not so rich not not don't have everything you know they can't do this they can't do that you know how to fit in amongst them but if you was to be a millionaire you would know how to fit in amongst the millionaires okay you would know the difference between uh, a salad fork and uh, a soup spoon you understand what i'm saying like you would know the difference between these things I, I just feel like it's the way that you was brought up i feel like you may have had a family that you know they take you to six flags they take you to they they do a lot of family bonding situations um uh, they take you to, I, I would say like expensive restaurants. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's another thing that makes you very intimidating is the way that she was brought up, the way that she was raised, the way that your parents um, disciplined you. A lot of people didn't have discipline. A lot of people didn't have both. Some of you, I think a lot of you, it may not be, but a lot of you maybe have, excuse me, may have been raised in a two parent household. If it's not a two parent household, then your father was very prominent in your life and your mother was very like, you know, they it was like a, it was really good co-parenting. So you was able to grow up with both of your, your parents in your life. So that's another thing that makes you very intimidating as well. It's like, you know what love is. You know how you're supposed to be loved. You know how you're supposed to be treated. Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What makes pound number one so intimidating? What makes pound number one so intimidating? I knew you were going to get two cards. 
one card in the room. So it makes pile number one, so it's intimidating. What did I say? What did I say? I said something about patience, didn't I? It says, I accept that everything happens in divine order, divine timing. You are divine, <laughs> okay? That's what makes you so intimidating is the fact that you are so patient and you're willing to wait. You're not rushing anything. Everything is going to happen when it's supposed to happen. You live life on, like, you, you, you live life by going with the flow, right? Okay? That's why everything comes to you as well because you're very detached. So, yes. My beautiful pile number ones. I hope... I hope this is really going to make you want to comment and subscribe. And thank you so much for being here. If this resonated for you, please let me know in the comment section. And I will catch you guys in the next reading. Peace out. Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kay Reads. Just want to say thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, sharing, 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 <laughs> and subscribing and giving me that energy exchange. Um, I'm very grateful. I'm very thankful. If you guys would like a person to read about me, please be sure to check out my description box right below the video. Or you can also check out my community tab right above and you know over there because i do have a main sale going on as soon as june, june 1st hit the sale will be over so get it while it's hot today's reading is going to be what makes you so intimidating if you pick the gucci bag then this is going to be your reading let's see what's up baby so please make these messages and put this class in the universe what makes pile number two so intimidating well i seen the gucci bag i mean i don't know which one came out first but i just was like oh gee Okay, that's what makes you so intimidated that you are an OG, that you're a trendsetter. You don't copy anybody, you know? I feel like you you, you calm, you cool. What makes pile number two so intimidating? Make these messages as clear as possible, bro. What makes pile number two so intimidating? Okay, we have the two of cups. What makes pile number two so intimidating? What makes pile number two so intimidating, universe? take all of these let's see what the bottom of the deck is first we have the chariot card so some more cancer energy with the two of cups we have the horror font taurus energy okay and we have the knight of swords we have the seven of swords so you guys can see and we also have the page of wands all right first thing that i'm seeing here is Some people find intimidating by you is that you don't look your age. You look fairly young. Um, another thing that's very intimidating is the fact that people love you so much with the two of cups being here. A lot of people love you. A lot of people want to be in relationships with you. You're someone that's always secure in a relationship. Um, you know how to keep a man. You know how to keep your woman. You are usually in, in long-term relationships. That People find that intimidating because a lot of people around you may not be able to hold relationships or they've never been in a long-term relationship. Like they only been like six months or something like that, never made a year situation. So people find that intimidating that some of you may have been in, you know, year plus relationships or five, year, five years plus relationships. Um, but the Knight of Swords being here, I feel like what makes you um, so intimidating is the fact that you're someone that you're a quick thinker. Like you could be in any situation and you know how to either finesse your way out of it, talk your way out of it, or do some shit that, you know, you... You know how to do a trick. You understand to entertain somebody so you can get out of a situation. You have the gift of gab, I feel. You have the gift of, of gab. That also kind of reminds me of the full card. Um, but, yeah. I feel like you're someone that is very... I feel like you're very talkative. I feel like you're someone that likes to have conversations like and i feel like you're someone that probably prefers to speak on the phone or even if you do prefer to text message i feel like after a while you'll start sending voice notes so people could like clearly understand what you're like what you're trying to say um if i didn't say zodiac signs because i feel like i didn't we have the two of cups with the cancer energy um the knight of swords and the seven of swords this is air energy of crazy with gemini um but the page of wands is fire energy of uh sagittarius Leo aries all right, so boom. And also with the chariot card, we have some more cancer energy right underneath for that is So you guys could definitely, it doesn't have to be, but you guys definitely have some water placements, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces. Definitely got some water placements, right? Okay, with the Seven of Swords being here, I feel like another thing that makes you very intimidating is the simple fact that I think <laughs> you're someone 
this may not resonate for every single person that yeah but what makes you very intimidating is that you can get away with stuff like you're very sneaky and i feel like <laughs> I'm hearing, I think it's a Nicki Minaj song, I want to be bad for you. Something about you could be bad for me. Something like that. I feel like you sneaky. Like a lot of y'all may have a lot of sneaky links or have had a lot of sneaky links or something like that. It doesn't have to be anymore. But I definitely think that you're someone that could be, um, you know, a player if you wanted to. Excuse me. If you wanted to, you could be a player. Some people may even, like I said, people think you that you younger than what you really are. Um, but... Yeah, you're definitely someone that you cover up your your play away very well. Um, I feel like with the Page of Wands being here, yeah, you're definitely someone that is, like, you talk a lot, you flirt. That's what it is, okay? That's another thing that makes you very intimidating. People, you're someone, like, I'm, woo, I'm getting a little bit of masculine energy. So, male or female doesn't matter. You're definitely someone that will approach somebody. I feel like with you, whether you are male or female, with the way that you, your demeanor and how you approach certain situations, certain people will be like, mm, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a little intimidating, but that's sexy. I feel like that's another thing too. You're very sexy. And you're just, it's like, there's no way possible that a person doesn't love you. You know what I'm saying? Okay, with the chariot of um in the, the the high priestess, I feel like you're definitely someone that you move on fairly quickly. Like you know when to move on, you know when not to waste your time. Um, you're very highly intuitive, highly intuitive. Okay, um, but yeah, that that mouthpiece we got the gift of God, very sexy individual. Yeah, you one of those people. People may look at you and be like, oh yeah, pound number two is a cheater. Oh, reality, you're really not a cheater. But I feel like the way that you speak and the way that you talk and the way that you carry yourself with the Seven of Swords being here, sometimes that sabotages your um, certain relationships because um, the way that you speak, certain people may think like you're trying to flirt with them or you're trying to uh, pursue them in some way, shape or form. And people get upset because they're thinking that, oh, you guys are building something or you guys are talking in a certain type of manner and you're not. It's just you know you're trying to be nice or you know you're just complimenting somebody or you know you just like friendly flirting you know what i'm saying that's what how people um that's another thing that you that intimidates you by people that's the way that you maneuver with your your feelings <laughs> and the way that you say certain things and the way that you act and stuff like that what makes pile number two so intimidating wow so we have self-love that came out number six self-love that's something that's very intimidating as well. You love yourself no matter what. Whether you're in a relationship, whether no matter what's the situation, you're always putting yourself first. Always. Nothing comes before you. Especially your... I feel like you're someone that has done a lot of healing. You're someone that has done a lot of repairing of yourself. So it's definitely nothing that comes in between. There's definitely nothing that comes in between your your self-healing so if you need a day to yourself you're taking that day to yourself if you need to go to the spa you're taking some time and you're going to the spa what makes pile number two so intimidating what makes pile number two so intimidating universe if you can just as clear as possible what what do we have what i said <laughs> we have number 32 people naturally really trust you trust you People like talking to you. People like telling you their secrets. You know, like I said, you have the gift of gab. Sometimes you just don't, you don't say anything. You just like to be a person's um, shoulder to cry on or, you know, just having someone to speak to, whatever the case is. You know, in, then three and two, that's another card about healing, healing chaos. Or, you know, like I said, sometimes you do start in trouble from being too nice, being too friendly. Okay. Um, so we have that. We have number 18, Pleasure. Um, what makes you so intimidating? Like I said, you're very sexy. I feel like a lot of people um, want to get busy with you. A lot of people want to, you know, share that type of timing with you. Make these messages as clear as possible. What makes pile number two so intimidating? What makes pile number two so intimidating? Thank you. We have worry. Since I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So what makes you so intimidating is the fact that a lot of people are worried about 
um, if they're going, if you're going to stop talking to them, they're worried about if you are going to be knowing certain secrets, certain things in their lives. Like, I don't know what the hell you be doing to people, but people like really be, people don't want you out their lives and people, um, they start to straighten up and get their act together when they realize you start pulling away. I don't know. That sound very dominant. Like got into like, like dominant stuff, like tying a person up and stuff like that. And like taking control. Like you real smooth, real smooth. So my beautiful pound number two is that's all I have for you. I truly do hope that it resonated. If it did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and also tap that little notification bell. I will catch you guys in the next reading. Peace out. Hello, babies. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kay Reese. Just want to say thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, anything that you do energetically to let me know that you are part of my collective. I am very thankful and grateful. If you guys would like to, if you guys would like to book a personal reading, please be sure to check out the description box. You can also check out my community tab where I do have my prices because I do have a May sale going on. And once June first hit, there will be no more sales. Okay. So, yes, let's get into it. If you pick pound number three, which will be the Mark Jacobs bag, then this is going to be a reading on what makes you so intimidating. I feel like I said the title already, but who cares? Please make as much as possible universe. What makes pound number three so intimidating? What makes pound number three so intimidating, universe? Make these messages as good as possible. What makes pound number three so intimidating? What makes pound number three so intimidating, universe? have the temperance card Sagittarius energy what makes pound number two so intimidating I'm so sorry what makes pound number three so intimidating what makes pound number two so intimidating we have the nine of cups what makes pound number two Oops. what makes pound number two so intimidating we have the double card the double card and the temperance What makes pound number three so intimidating, universe? What makes pound number three so intimidating? And we have the seven of wands. Some of you guys have been called narcissists before. We have the moon card. Bottom of the deck, we have the strength card. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys have been called narcissists before. And the reason is... uh. What makes you very intimidating is the simple fact that some of you, this is kind of similar to the last pile, kind of sort of, you guys love yourself so much, you know, you guys indulge in certain things that you may not, in, you, you may not, what, you may not supposed to be indulging, sure, whatever, um, some of you, What's really intimidating is the fact that you're able to take the energy that you have within and pour into another person's cup. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you still have enough energy for yourself. I feel like you are a... I was going to say, not an energy magnet, but sometimes people drain you of your energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like um, your energy is very strong. Like, I don't know. You're very addicting. And I feel like that's not the first time you heard that. And I feel like it's not the first time that you heard that you are a narcissist. And I don't really feel like you're a narcissist. I think that the, the, the simple fact is you like things a certain type of way. You want what you want when you want it. You know, I feel like a lot of you could be very spoiled. It doesn't have to be either you spoiled yourself or your parents have spoiled you in some way, shape or form. Um, I feel like or you're just someone that's very successful. So you feel like you should have whatever you want. Okay, because you you worked hard for what you got. You worked hard to be in a certain type of energy. Um, hmm. I feel like another thing that makes you so what makes you so intimidating is that people can't figure figure you out. Okay, I feel like you're someone that has a lot of secrets. Look at that. People don't even know. Like if you make a lot of money, people don't know how you make a lot of money, and people watch you. So it's like pocket watching. Pocket watching, some people want to marry you. Some people want to marry you. Yep. You have a lot of people that mentally are married to you. I don't know if you guys are famous in some way, shape, or form, or in the limelight. 
but yeah you are usually someone wish wish fulfillment you are someone's manifestation i think that's what makes you so intimidating is the fact that people have to pray for someone like you into their lives because you're okay with moving right the fuck on you know what i mean but the devil card is just letting me know that you're someone that is very you just very addicting okay very addicting some people may have i don't know i feel like pe some people really just don't like you because sometimes you can be really nonchalant Really nonchalant, really to yourself, okay? When you want something, you go for it. When you have a goal, you're going for that goal. And you don't really care who feelings you hurt. Sometimes you don't even care how um who feel, like how you drain a person. And it's like it's, you're not doing it on purpose. It's the simple fact that, like, you know, I don't know, somebody... I don't want to sound negative. And I'm like, oh yeah, that, that definitely doesn't resonate. I'm not trying to sound negative, but I just feel like you're someone that's very focused. Tunnel vision is very important to you. Um, I feel like sometimes your negative thoughts consume you. If it's not that, then you, um, people have negative thoughts about you. And it could be the fact that maybe some of you are very more successful. Successful. That's another thing that makes you very... Um, intimidating that you're more successful than other people or you're more successful than someone that probably was at a job or doing something that you was doing but you're really good at it that's the thing and it's bring you a lot of fulfillment a lot of, of abundance a lot of happiness okay things you're starting you're planting the seeds for things to you know so you can open that treasure chest and instead of it being a cup so it could be money you know you're planting seeds you have a lot of secrets with this that moon card you have a lot of things that's hidden and you know um the moon card is also about transformation and i feel like it's gonna whatever you're hiding right now is going to transform into something bigger something greater if i didn't say zodiac signs we have um sagittarius with the nine of cups we have pisces energy the double card we have capricorn and with the seven of wands we have leo energy we also have cancer at the bottom of the deck some of you may have any you can have any of these signs in in your birth chart but yeah people hate on you because you're someone that's very successful you have a lot of um i don't know you're very feisty very like goal oriented not just money hungry okay i was about to say money hungry i don't feel like a lot of you are money hungry but like i don't think you'll do like anything anything for a buck but money is definitely the motive definitely definitely the motive let's see what else we have what makes pond number three so intimidating what makes pond number three so intimidating i feel like a lot of you may upgraded like if you work in a regular typical nine to five you're someone that upgraded to manager in like a couple of months look at this we have number 37 fruition three to seven is 10 10 is about completions and then new cycles so you break cycles um anything that you ask will come into fruition what makes found number three so intimidating number 18 pleasure I feel like a lot of you have good S-E-X. That's something that makes you very intimidating. Some of you can be either on the heavier side and people be surprised that you, you know, you do what you got to do. <laughs> and it's amazing. Some of you can have like small wheelies and you guys know what you're doing. That's nothing that's very intimidating. So it's just like you guys have big energy. Let me number three so intimidating in the to protect your energy get someone that's very well protected i'm getting i don't know where i'm getting that from but some of you guys may have somebody or people that get tarot card readings on you I'm trying to get like a one up a leg up or something like that so i don't know if that's like a sign that you need to protect yourself a little bit more Go tell too many people ideas that you may have. Make these 
messages as clear as possible. The race with clown number three so intimidating. Miss clown number three so intimidating. Like if you're really excited about something, you want to tell somebody what like what you're working on. Don't do it. What makes you so intimidating is that yeah, people doubt you. People doubt that you're going to be successful. People doubt the fact that what you're doing right now is going to bring you a lot of longevity. It's not at least the need to know all the answers. I feel like that's something that you are too. It's very detached. Some of you could be, um, you could resonate for pile number two. Some of you could be Aquarius, Virgos, Geminis, like air signs for sure. Virgo. We are with Aries. I said that already though. We have loneliness in reverse. That's something that's very intimidating about you, that you're not ever lonely. Like, you're someone that is okay with talking to people, but you're also okay with, you know, taking a step back. That's why it's in reverse and they came out. Because you'll talk to people, you'll talk to individuals that need to have, like, a shoulder to crying on or need any something. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody to talk to whatever case is, you'll do that, but you'll prefer to be by yourself. Like, you're cool with that. So my beautiful pound number three, that's all I have for you. I truly do hope that it resonated. If it did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also tap that little notification bell. Thank you so much for being here. Catch you guys later. Peace out.